So good morning everybody. I'm here in my last full day at uh, Russell Pond Campground up in North Woodstock, New Hampshire. Uh, looks like this is going to be a, a, a kind of a soggy day, unfortunately. But we'll make the best of it. Good thing I got my uh, ride on the uh, scooter through the Kanga Mangus and yesterday. God, that was a fun ride. <laughs> I haven't had a good ride on the bike for a while there, so I enjoyed that. Uh, but now well, we're here today. So today I think I'm just going to hang around at the campground. Uh, probably do a tour of the whole campground and uh, I'd like to try to see if I can find that uh, trail that goes around Russell Pond. There's supposedly a trail there. It's hard to follow on that, but I think I'm going to try to make, an a, sh make a shot at it today. And uh, otherwise, I just do some exploring some of the other uh, trails and stuff around the place too. I also threw the extra tarp up over the canopy because, well, <laughs> it's raining and this canopy isn't completely watertight. And heavy rain on it, it does drip through. Throw this top on it though, it keeps it dry. Plus it has a nice wall behind my kitchen area there too to help keep that counter area dry. So, not a big space because I got the bathhouse in here to hang out in the rain, but... I get here and I've got the uh, wolf in here. Let's see... A little bit chilly, 66 degrees. It's supposed to warm up. So now I'm going to try to find Russell Pond Trail. I understand that's a little bit harder a trail to hike because it's not very well maintained and not very well marked. But it's supposed to go around the whole pond, so I want to see if I can find it. But time to get ready for that. This little side trail off of the uh, uh, Russell Pond Loop. I have no idea what this trail is, where it goes, but it's kind of neat. It seems to follow along this brook right here. Nice quiet area too. It's not on any maps that I saw before I got up here. None at all. It seems to go down the mountain. Well, <laughs> obviously I'm not going to follow the whole thing. I'm just going to go down to that uh, bend down there. Hmm. Judging from these scratches, <laughs> this may actually be a snowmobile trail. Well, it looks to turn into a mud pit over here and a biting insect breeding ground, so I'm not going to venture into that area. Not this time of year. If I came back here in late September, early October sometime, I might. Not right now.
have no clue what this is. Almost looks like it's the remains of a fireplace. But I don't see any uh, spot for a foundation here. <laughs> How strange. metal down here, which is part of this. No clue. the whole loop. Kind of a anticlimactic end to the trail though. Just kind of ended right out into the uh, into some campsites in the F section. <laughs> Thankfully the campgrounds campsites it ended in were empty. Uh, uh, but now I'm back here on the campground. Heading back to my site. Take a little bit of a break and then uh, some, some water. And then I think I'm going to start heading towards Tripoli Road and a couple of geocaches. I think that'll bring my adventures for this trip to an end. I'll settle back at the campsite, make some dinner, simple spaghetti and meatballs tonight, and then pack up a bunch of it. That's a little sticky today. The humidity's up there. About 80 degrees, but it's uh, <laughs> pretty high humidity today. But Anyway, that was a good hike. Got to uh, go around uh, Russell Pond and everything. Now I got back to my site, had some water, had a couple chocolate chip cookies. <sighs> now I got a couple geocaches I want to try to find. Maybe possibly uh, hike down the road a bit there to Tripoli Road and check that area out. I don't have to go too far. 225 feet from here. <sighs> a little off the main road here. That's good. A little trail here. All right, I'll put the camera down for a minute. When I found it, I don't think it's where it's supposed to be, but it, I found it anyway. Let's see what's inside. Okay. All kinds of interesting stuff. And of course, a logbook. I found it, signed the log. Now it's time to get back and see if I can find the second one. One cache down, one to go. You're not familiar with geocaching there. It's a, it's a game there where people put uh, uh, little hidden treasure hunt type stuff out in the woods. Hide a box, in this case it was an ammo can. Then they put the coordinates on the geocaching website and give people a challenge of trying to find it. You can take something if you want from it, but you're going to leave something. And if you, if you don't feel like taking anything, you can just sign the logbook and move on, which is what I just did. And... Here's the second cache. Different style. Little pelican case. Just open like that. Pretty easy find. Uh, yeah, a little wet in there. Anyway, gotta sign the log. Okay, found the cache. Now I gotta figure out how to get back up this hill again. Make this car go by first and then we'll start making the climb up. Okay, both caches have been found. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it all the way down to Tripoli Road today. I'm kind of tired. But I'm going to go down to at least to the hairpin turn. Explore that area. Look at this view from here. Bet this was a scenic overlook at some point. It's kind of overgrown now. You can see there's a spot where there was a sign, but <laughs> the sign's missing. But yeah, it'll be my bet. This was a like a scenic overlook area here at one point in time. Nice view. Well, it's a hit pin turn. Not sure who drove in there for what. An interesting spot. And what happened to those signs without all missing the paint on top? You can hear the water flowing too.
I don't see any trails here to get down there. Which is kind of funny because it seemed like there was a... On the maps when I looked it up there, there was a, an old road that was right here off the hairpin turn that was closed off. I don't see any spot for such a thing though. Too bad. I'll have to go down there and explore, but no way of getting down there. Not unless I bushwhack. And I'm not up to bushwhacking today. I'm not even dressed for it. As much as I want to explore Tripoli Road. I'm getting tired. I'm getting hungry. It's uh, almost five o'clock. i got over a mile to walk back to my campsite from here, uphill. So I'm just going to head back now. I'm tired. <laughs> I did about eight miles of hiking today. Between the loop trail and going down to the hairpin turn and the geocaching. Oh, I gotta sit and rest for a few minutes. If it wasn't so sticky out, that wouldn't be so bad. But oh. after I rest, had some water in me, swat a few mosquitoes probably, and it's time to make some uh, some spaghetti and meatballs. And after that, I recoup my energy. We start taking the site down, and getting ready to go home tomorrow. Uh, time for some dinner. Finally having my spaghetti and meatballs here. It's actually elbows and meatballs, but that's okay. <laughs> yes, as usual, lots and lots of cheese. I actually found this much smaller cheese container to carry on. It doesn't hold as much cheese, but it takes up a lot less space in the uh, refrigerator, which is good, because space is a premium. And I'll just refill it with bigger containers when I get home. Anyways, a good day of hiking. Like I said, I did eight miles today. And now I'm sitting here, I got my tablet here, I'm watching some of my other favorite YouTubers here. <laughs> while I'm having uh, having some dinner here. And just resting. And uh, got to start packing up, because tomorrow I go home. So I have a busy night ahead of me too, after all that hiking. <laughs> oh well. well. Dinner's done. It means it's now time to do dishes. <laughs> I always have to do dishes. Ah, let's see, water tank still working very well. Stay. All right. Stuck. 